Hello， 大家好，我是比白。那今天呢，我也请来了我的日本的老朋友，啊，新西兰的双板考官 i s k i s a 我们要一起给大家分享一些双板初中级选手非常值得练习的一些小技巧，那以及教大家认识我们的双板装备。こんにちは。Hello, my name is Yusuke. I'm working in Seiko Japan and New Zealand as a ski examiner. And today we like to share our knowledge about our equipment, how to Use our skis, boots, and also three most important drills for the beginners: how to improve their fundamental skills. So far, all right. So for the first drill, I like to share with you guys to improve your ski into the next level from a beginner is to how to use your legs individually from separated from upper body. So we're gonna take the skis off, and then we sit down on the ground and make sure. Your hips, knees, ankles flexed. Put your hands a little bit behind you, yeah, so you don't flex your hips too much. Your knees need to be flexed like this, yeah, and keep your feet together like this. Your hip width, yeah, a little bit now, yeah, and try to move your legs without moving your hips, turning like this. And this movement separates your legs movement and your upper body movement. To warm up your muscle, I'm going to give you a bit of resistance. Yeah, so try to push my hands. Yeah. Now, can you see your knees not moving, but your foot's moving, right? So I want you to move the whole legs together. All right. Foot, nice. The other way. Yeah. To lock your knee and your toes, make sure you use this muscle. So lift your toes up. Yeah. Try to feel the muscle here and inside your thigh working hard. Nice. Well, this is the muscle movement we are using to steer our skis, separate it from upper body. Right. So the most important thing about skiing is how you stand on top of your skis. So this stance called athletic stance. That's what we want to do first. So make sure your ankle, knee, and hips are roughly equally flexed, almost like when you can jump and land. Always looking forward. Yeah, somewhere your chin, up to your toe piece of your bindings, somewhere here. Yeah, nice. Right, and your arms, like newspaper reading with, I call it. Nice. Right, so I'm gonna check your stance and tell you which muscle you need to use by shaking your skis. I call this earthquake exercise. I'm gonna do this. So what I want you to focus on is to use this muscle. Lift your toes up. Make sure these muscles are fired, and also your core muscle. And look where you're going with the nice balance. So now you can see your body is moving with the skis, right? These muscles are very important, especially the gradient of the hill changes. Your ski starts to go faster than your body. You lean back. So if you engage your core and the shin muscle, you can engage with the skis, move with the skis. So you're always on top of the skis. So the third exercise I like to share with you is to be more balanced efficiently over the outside ski. If you can maintain a good stance with the lower legs movement, you're gonna build more pressure on the outside ski. So we're gonna learn how to use our body. To balance towards the force builds up on your outside ski. So what we're gonna do is to hold the poles like this. And every time we start feeling more pressure coming from outside ski, we start rolling our poles down by flexing our hips to move your body into the right spot to efficiently balance on the outside ski. Athletic stance. Legs movement. <音>那么今天我们在雪道上跟大家做了很多双板初学者应该练习的一些。啊，技巧。那 Yusuke 也给大家介绍了很多练习的方式，以及为什么我们要做这些练习。那接下来呢，我们想一起跟大家探讨一下双板
装备的一些问题。So Uski,、mm-hmm. do you think a ski beginner should buy their own equipment? Yeah, they can start getting their own equipment, especially from ski boots. So why do you think a ski boot is so important? Well, the ski boots is the first thing that you start controlling your skis. It's on your feet, so having the proper ski boots enable them to control their skis. What do you think the key element for the ski boot? A proper ski boot. So to have a good ski boot, proper ski boot for even for beginners is the fit. Fit is the key because if your ski boots not fitting properly around your feet, your feet's moving inside the ski boots, but you're not controlling the skis. So to have the right size boots because if you rent the ski boots, often you get the bigger size ski boots. Your feet is swimming inside the、mm. ski boot,、mm. and you can't control the ski. So have the proper size boots. So when you think、mm-hmm. they should buy their own skis, so once you get the ski boots, you get into skiing, and you use the rental skis to fee- see what sort of skis you like, and make sure that you like skiing. You want to continue skiing,、mm. then that's the time you want to buy your own skis. So as a beginner, so、mm-hmm. what type of ski they should buy? When you should... start. Thinking about your ski career, the first ski you can buy is probably something a little bit shorter than your height, maybe ten centimeter shorter than your height. Also nice and soft, because expensive skis often very stiff and hard to control. So nice soft skis, and the short radius ski gives you more control to make turns. So something between ten to fifty meter radius. And also narrow underfoot, underfoot seventy to eighty mil gives you a good edge engagement. If you go wider than eighty, it's gonna be harder to put skis on the edge and then control that edge. So something below eighty, but、mm. not too narrow,、mm. so you can have some sort of stability. So seventy, eighty, I would say. Maybe just late. They should find out what color they like. Yeah, and、mm. the design is very important. Something、mm. that you、to、want to cool. ski every day. That's、yeah. right. So how about the poles?、Like、yeah, so poles often people get the long poles, but I would say if you one sixty something one or five to one ten, one seventy one ten to one fifteen. I personally I'm one seventy, but I personally use one ten poles.、Mm. I like shorter poles to make myself in a good stance.、Mm. So like one, I'm, I'm like one. So you're one eighty one fifteen to one twenty.、Mm. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, that there is a personal preference,、mm. but I tend to have two and a half to five centimeters shorter than what、mm. normally people say. So, so they should like try out. To yeah, see, yeah,、like、try out to see how your ski changes. That、mm. five centimeter changes a、mm. lot about your skin. I see. And again,、mm. good design,、mm. something you want to hold of all the time. Of、yeah. course, of course. And you can make some pole tricks. Yeah, exactly.、Mm. So the last,、uh-huh. and how about a ski jacket? So, so what do you think? Like most important part of a ski jacket. So ski jacket, the most important part is obviously your comfort. So、mm. when you're wearing, you don't feel some tightness or looseness、mm. around your arms and stuff. That when you're skiing, you move your arms quite a lot,、mm. and make sure that keeps you warm.、Mm. Uh, if you're cold, you can't focus on skiing.、Mm. Especially in China. Yeah, China is very cold. cold.、Mm. Uh, even in Seoul, that it's very cold.、Mm. And something I you have hood.、Mm. Hood is quite important for me. I think when it starts snowing, you want to keep your、mm. head warm, so have a hood on. Most importantly, skiing can be quite active sport.、Mm. You get warm.、Mm. You want a ventilation、mm. that you have、nice. over there.、Mm. Yeah, make sure you can open it. You can get some fresh air,、mm. so you don't overheat either. So, as a conclusion, what do you think about ski gears? So, in my opinion. Before you considering buying your ski gears, the first thing I think you should purchase is a ski lesson、mm. to understand what the skin is, and also have a good relationship with your ski instructor.、Mm. So your ski instructor tells you what would be the best gear for you to purchase first,、mm. what sort of things you want to look for.、Mm. So the more you know ski,、yep. the more you know about ski gears. Yeah, definitely. Spend your money smart.、Mm-hmm, exactly.、Mm-hmm. 那么今天呢，我们关于双板初学者的一些教程和关于一些装备的一些探讨就到此结束。那我们下一期还有更精彩的关于从初级到中级的一些进阶的小技巧带给大家。那我是比利白，我是 Yusuke， 我们下期再见，拜拜，拜拜。